Fuck my fucking life. So, do you remember that I went to the sewers and I said, oh, investigation, we killed this uh, Santa Claus dude guy, whatever. Oh well, even if I wasn't supposed to be here, at least we found something, blah 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 blah. I wasn't supposed to be there at that time. I actually need to complete this quest and then gain access again to the source and then I can do that. Fuck. I haven't found the source by the way. <laughs> I've been running around like fucking idiot for 15 minutes. My cat is annoying me. She's been uh, we She's asking for petting for a long time now. But petting has not come yet. Has yet to come. A Lady Ashbury, what the fuck are you doing here? I was wondering who's that mesmerized 20. I remember only one so far Welcome with that. Back, Dr. Reed. Thank you. I have a boat ready to go whenever I want. These hunters won't catch me. All right, coward. Elizabeth, what are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat with the chairman. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. Okay, so she is the woman and I am the man. Okay. Well, now that we got that out of the way... What is this? Why is it locked? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Alright, alright. I haven't forgot you, Louise. You will be alive until I'll reach you. Because that's how the game works, I guess. Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. I'm just a doctor. No, I did my best. Eh, I wouldn't call me playing the game the best. Alright, some questions remain. But some questions remain. The important thing is, we won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit a new vampire? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Ekon he deserves to be. I cannot. I'm sorry. But I can't. Are you questioning my orders? No. It's just... I'm not sure I'm ready to have another progeny after what happened with my sister. The rebirth of Aloysius Dawson is a necessary step in our campaign to ensure the safety of London. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Dawson estate. Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Before I go, I have a few questions. All right, I'm listening. 
Why Aloysius Dawson? Because he is about to die. And he just may be the most influential man in England. After me, of course. Did he choose me? No, I did. My decision is very recent, to say the least, but it is entirely mine. Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Dr. Reed. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is through your sister. How would you like me to proceed? Don't worry. Aloysius has had many years to prepare himself. He has studied our kind for decades. So shall I just let him drink my blood? Yes. Aloysius will gratefully sup on your blood. His heart will slow, then stop. But he will rise again as one of us, an immortal. Is there any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They die for good. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself for a long time. Why do I think he's gonna die? You invited Lady Ashbury. Wouldn't that be breaking one of your cardinal rules? No women allowed. Not allowed as members, no. But considering the circumstances, I thought you'd like to have her here to witness your triumph. So it's a temporary admittance, then? Something of a bargain, considering the crisis we're currently facing. Goodbye, Lord Redgrave. Wait, what? I did not accept your command. <laughs> Was I supposed to? Oh, goodbye. Okay. All right. Th there was the option before, like I obey your command or some shit, and I just said, "No, I'm going to ask you some questions, motherfucker." Nothing happened. Are you all right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson, to make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? He'll be very handy resource. Eh, I won't do it. Oh. I would like your advice, though, yeah. I'd like your advice on the matter. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think it's some sort of trap? Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. Please, tell me more about your recent investigation. As long as you lower your voice. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate the healthy rich from the sickly poor? Do not make him your progeny. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor soul survive at all. How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. Why so vindictive? You suddenly sound like you're angry. Forgive me, Jonathan, I hate myself for it, but I feel such pride in my discovery. I'm afraid I just can't help it. Which is? He did serve William Marshall, and yes, the blood he covets as a token does truly belong to that legendary knight. But he was never his progeny. His lineage is not so noble. What would happen if I made Dawson an Ekon like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. 
An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life searching for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. Goodbye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Please, be careful. Okay. Holy shit. That is some mind-blowing information. Alright. Right. It looks like vampires have to obey Mendel's laws when producing progeny. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. Oh, slightly. At least they did not respawn yet. Great. A natural selection. It's locked. I should find another way to get into the neighborhood. Okay. The marked area. So the marked area is where the sewers supposed to be somewhere over there Ian Bull sewers be or entrance to the sewers be it's not down there is it now it's a building you, feeble. you again gotcha. You got me. We already had this dance. Damn. I think this passage could lead me close to Aloysius Dawson's mansion. Oh shit, no, no. The fuck? God damn, this fucking shade. Okay, alright, alright, well. Gotcha! Your prey is mine! Oh, there it is. Okay. We found the sewers, yo. We found the sewers. And now we find uh, the daughter. I hope. Fuck is that dude? Okay. I thought that nasty dude that we killed was alive again. Wait, I'm running back now. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. Alright. So, no choice but drop down. Oh. Why? Don't... I'm pressing 5 and he did not do anything. That was fucking amazing. Thank you.
Oh, oh, oh. Explosion. Right. Okay. No, I don't want to go there just yet. I think from if I remember correctly and I should remember correctly I need to get to the place where with the puzzle do you remember the turning faucets whatever this one yeah oh I cannot I need to turn it again it can I port there no yeah oh I can open it though Yeah, I'm on the right way, path, maybe. Nice, some shotgun shells. Ah, Louise. I hear you, Louise. Recent diary. Recent diary. I've just arrived in London after a drooling, I guess, journey from Manchester. The city is sad and de despaired. It will not be difficult to find a woman willing to escape death here. I cannot wait to start my research. Soon I won't be a virgin anymore. Oh dear. The cell is ready. All I must do now is to find the appropriate candidate and bring her in. She will be beautiful and gentle, with a nice temper. I have already tested my persuasion ability on a few women, and it worked. Most, uh, most of the time, but I don't want to. F uh, I don't want my future bride to be submissive. I will only use my power to bring her here. Then I'll tell her what I intend to do and let her accept. This is important. I want my lady to willingly accept to become my wife for eternity. I think I have found the perfect match. Her name is Louise. She is a waitress at the public house and she is quite charming. I love her attitude when serving drinks in the bar. Tough and proud. I am sure she will accept my offer. Once she is mine, once the vampire blood will... What? Will have achieved her metamorphosis. Her face shall heal properly and her scars will disappear. Then she will be perfectly beauty. Uh, then she will be the perfect beauty. I'm the only one to see right now. I don't understand. Louise refuses my propo proposition. Yeah. I'll well, say proposal, but sure. My proposition? Why would she? I promised her I would never force her to anything. I may let her starve a little. Then she'll understand I'm her only option. Interesting. Hello. In a moment. Hello. Miss Teasdale, are you all right? How do you know my name? Who are you? My name is Dr. Reed. I managed to track you down thanks to your father. So my father really was looking after me. This man... This vampire told me my father was dead. Is it true? I'm afraid so, miss. I'm so sorry for your loss. But you are free to go, as your abductor is no more. 
I suppose my jailer also killed my father, didn't he? Thankfully, he did not search your father's corpse, where I found his notes describing where he might find you. You should read them. I must find my father's body. He deserves a proper burial. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again. Yay! Finally, finally! I wasted way too much time on this one fucking investigation. Investigation. Yeah, heal up to full just in case. There we go. Continuing with our main quest. So basically, only side missions we have left in the entire game are the Braille one and the flyers that my friend posts everywhere or give to everyone, whatever. Okay. 